legend George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion, and DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck and took Josh Koscheck, who was an NCAA champion, down whenever he needed to. But it was also the striking that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab into the leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. He's got more SPs than you. He He's a man. <laughs> championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. Pierre. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. Good. This is arguably the biggest welterweight fight in UFC history. It is upon us. I am anxious. I would imagine the athletes have a better rest and heart rate than I do. Kamal Usman, George St. Pierre. Let's see how it plays out. I had to take the cans off my ear because I want to hear the crowd when these two men step into the octagon. We have the two greatest welterweights of all time finally locked in the octagon together. Usman versus St. Pierre. Who's going to be victorious? Come on, John Anna. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All the separation of the clinch. St. Pierre's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. They continue to exchange. Oh, and there's another leg kick 
for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expressions right of the opponent. Oh, it's huge hook. He's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. The fighters separate. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. And that was a solid kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such nothing to even be on his feet right now. Usman gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Lands a good series of kicks here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. When you get a guy hurt, you got to find him. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Five seconds to go here in round one. Effective jab there by George St. Pierre. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Out of range with that one. Final seconds here. Round two straight ahead. Let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Usman's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Got the single collar tie. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Busy as he looks to improve position here. While St. Pierre's back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. Position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's calling card, and he is showing you why tonight in the octagon. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and 
defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like you can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid the shot. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side push. The beauty of Paul Flip, got to get out of here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Jock in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Man, his thigh is just a mess of bruises right now. It looks like my son took out a couple of markers. How much more can he take this? Not much. I mean, it's swollen. It's purple. It's blue. It's black. You know what I mean? You are now starting to see the benefits of following a game plan, recognizing the path, and taking that path. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he Ready. can try to sprawl Ready. and respond. He's Ready. a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not destroyed. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. Dude, when you get hit with a shot like that, was deflected. Nicely done. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all the strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Two minutes have gone by. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Straight to the body there by GSP. Oh! He's got his work going down. Now he's back up. Oh, big left hook there. And that one certainly found the target. St. Pierre gets up. He is back on the feet here. Just misses with the straight right. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, there's a sharp lead hook by St. Pierre. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. That is how you scramble, folks. 15 seconds. as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, right that's stop. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward.
All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next ten minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. So new round, same narrative as he takes him down again. He does a fantastic job finding the takedown attempt, not wasting the energy. A lot of times people believe if the takedown's not easy, don't waste the energy. This guy got it done very easily. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. GSP gets back up again. Some separation. So we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the set, too, that I think you've liked so far. I look. Oh. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. GSP right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Now drops inside that first guard, you see. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. Trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Arm to oh, beat. Wow. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Though. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange Great like fight. we just witnessed. Great. One guy almost submitted, Great. one guy escaped. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of this martial art. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Belly. Well, St. Pierre's has got full mount now. Armbar tip. That submission was tight. Working very hard to get this armbar. As close to the finish, he's got to extend the arm to get it attack. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent with it a little bit, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Single leg takedown. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, he is clearly losing this fight. It has not been his best. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. All right, well, this is a man of humility, but George St. Pierre all but guaranteed a win by TKO tonight, and that is exactly...